RTX 4090 is an absolute monster and a huge leap in graphical performance compared to its predecessor. But the price range and the power that this card requires are absolutely bonkers. With that being said, will going for the RTX 4090 be a good choice or the previous gen RTX 3090 Ti which also is a great graphical powerhouse will suffice? Well, let's find out. Just from the looks of it, RTX 4090 is a humongous card in both length and depth. It's so big that even many ITX enthusiasts might find it difficult to fit in an SFF build. Apart from that, it maintains a similar design language to the previous 30 series cards with a silverish theme. The card also brought along plenty of next-gen AI features such as DLSS 3.0, AI Frame Generator and RTX Remix which has lots of potential for gamers, 3D artists and modders alike. Before talking about performance and benchmarks, let's take a brief look at the specs for both of these cards. Starting at $15.99, the RTX 4090 packs 24GB of GDDR6X memory with a base clock speed of 2.22GHz that can be boosted up to 2.52GHz. With 16,384 CUDA cores and 128 ray tracing cores, this graphics card performs as beefy as it looks. The RTX 3090 Ti went on retail for a whopping $19.99 at launch and is currently being sold for as much as $1,100. For the price, this card also offers 24GB of GDDR6X VRAM coupled with 1.56GHz of base and 1.86GHz of boost clock speed. The card packs about 10,752 CUDA and 78 RT teraflops which is quite lower than what Nvidia is offering with the RTX 4090. With the specs out of the way, let's go through some number crunches. According to Digital Trends 3D Mark Time Spy Testing, we are looking at 31,409 scores for the RTX 4090 which is significantly higher compared to the RTX 3090 Ti's 19,848 scores. This is unlike something we have ever seen before and a huge leap towards generational performance. This holds true for ray tracing as well as we can see the RTX 4090 extracting about 42 FPS in 4K DirectX 12 testing for Cyberpunk whereas the 3090 Ti pumped out about 25 FPS on the same test. While affordability is in question here, the RTX 4090 is definitely not an overpriced card judging by the number of values it has in store for us. The AI enhancement does make a difference while the ray tracing performance is unbelievable. If you can care less about the price, then the RTX 4090 will definitely be worth it to boost your gameplay as well as productivity in rendering tasks. Otherwise, sticking with the RTX 3090 Ti will suffice. So that was all about the RTX 4090 vs 3090 Ti debate. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.